back with another end of year sneaker list. This time my top five New Balance sneakers to release in 2023. Let's give the PSA again my list, all right, for this year. This is just mine, just my top five. This is subjective. This is based on my perspective of what I saw released by the brand this year. And it's a-okay if you don't agree. We will both sleep just fine at night. Well, I will. I don't suffer from sleep problems. If you do, melatonin or maybe some other sleep aid could help with that. If you don't listen to any of my peers who will tell you don't sleep on everything, then you probably are an insomniac at this point. And good luck with that. I will sleep just fine at night knowing you may or may not agree with this list. If you do, awesome. If you don't, also awesome. So let's just dive into the top five New Balance pairs I thought released in 2023. Coming in at number five, the Bricks and Wood New Balance 9060. Nothing changed but the address. This has been a long year because I almost forgot this released in 2023, early in January, paying homage to where you come from. And truly the address may change. We may level up, move from location to location, hopefully better than you were before, but that doesn't mean you should forget the humble beginnings of where you started. And I would like to think that would continue to inspire you to strive for more, especially for those who supported you in the very beginning. That's usually your day one family and friends. And that is said to be the inspiration behind this 9060, even paying homage to the founder's uh, childhood home, his grandmother's home more specifically. And I love everything about this 9060. You guys already know the 9060 is one of the best new silhouettes to drop in recent years. The detailing, the suede, the fuzzy laces, just, just go ahead. Like this pair deserves to be in somebody's top five for sure. Coming in at number four, the New Balance 990 V6 Action Bronson Baklava. Now this took all of sneakers by storm. I mean, if you're in the New Balance, this ranks really high, probably in the top five overall of sneakers to drop in 2023. I love that for you. It's not necessarily that high for me personally, but it is one of my favorite New Balances to drop this year. Now, it it was one of those pairs that needed to grow on me a little bit, but as I wore my 990 V6 more, I certainly had a deeper appreciation for this. Now, I just want to read to you what Action said in relation to this specific colorway. He said, with this shoe, I wanted to capture everything that makes us up as beings. The water, the waves, the energy, the energy in the copper, the energy that transfuses electricity into light ooze. That's a story within itself. He's telling you exactly what he wanted to convey in this pair. Now, it's not really inspired by food. I know we would automatically think that. That's more so in relation to his nickname and his heritage but for this pair drawing from you know his love of waves water really reinvigorating the 990 line with this v6 now it was met with some mixed emotions i mean some people didn't really love the 990 v6 as a whole and then others can't get enough of it i'm curious to know where you stand with this but if you were around sneakers in 2023 you may not know action bronson's music but you certainly saw and knew his pair and this wasn't the only colorway and it turned heads as well Coming in at number three, this shoe was money, pun intended. That is the Concepts in New Balance 998 C Note. Now it's a retro, so I know how some people feel about adding this to a top 10 you know, list for this current releases or top five. I get it because it's technically a retro. It originally released in 2013 and that was to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the 998 model itself and brand new $100 bills released into circulation at that time. And this shoe, I mean, it captures the $100 bill and when you're an adult, you wake up, it's like easily $200. Like every time you wake up in the morning, you pass a go, you pay $200. You don't collect $200, okay? And like a lot of New Balance collaborations, yes, this may have been up there in price, but the model, the imagery of the shoe itself, it all delivered as it did in 2013. It was a hit for a lot of consumers this year, and it was nice to see this come back. Dion teased it, the release happened, and with that being said, number three for me, top five for New Balance this year. Leave it to Joe Fresh Goods to do what only he can in a very special way, and that's roll out one hell of a campaign with New Balance for the 990 V4. Now, the 1998 pack that you have, intro, outro, and Keisha Blue, all inspired by such a cultural moment and movie of Belly. If you haven't seen it, one, you could be too young. 
if that's the case, okay. Uh, two, if you're my age, you've certainly seen it. Or if you're older and you just, you remember that time, you remember the nightclub scene and Keisha Blue absolutely delivers. Now for that specific colorway, of course, it was uh, prioritized for the Chicagoland area. I always respect Joe having that love for his, just listen, home, they get a lot of love. I have nothing but respect for that. Intro and outro. If I had to personally rank them, let's go Keisha Blue intro and then outro, but beautifully done. Uh, partnering with Averix also for the rollout and the campaign. And this is also a testament. Please just go to the source, listen to the designer and the brand themselves. I know he definitely fired some deserved shots at publications that were putting out mixed information. It was misinformation, if we're being honest, about when the pairs would drop, what it was inspired by. Just listen to Joe himself. He will directly let you know, and he did so in an amazing way. My favorite part, though, of this campaign is the video of talking, you know, a older version talking to the younger selves as a young man and just letting them know to smile more but everything that you wanted like your whole life was a mood board people held you down and you achieved everything that you wanted to but that doesn't mean you can't you have to fight to stay above the madness that occurs so love the imagery love the story love the cultural inspiration joe and that's why this is number two for me for new balance of 2023 Coming in at number one for me of my top five picks for New Balance releases of 2023, the Ronnie Feig Frank Lloyd Wright 998 pairs. Now these were just beautifully done. Frank Lloyd Wright, America's greatest architect. It that's just well known. And if you didn't know that, guess what? This was a great opportunity to learn more about him. Also, I would say check the comments of Hess Kick's video. He did an unboxing and so many viewers were giving their accolades and appreciation and respect for Frank and everything he's done within the world of architecture. And that's great to see. Uh, one, this wasn't a designer within fashion. This wasn't an athlete. This wasn't a musician. No, but this is still an artist, a creative, and he's brought so many amazing things to life. And guess what? His architecture, his designs, they live on all across this country. This was shot on location of his last or his very last uh, winter home within that area. So that in itself is really cool that it was shot on location at his home, but you can visit various homes that he's designed. They're like museums, some are landmarks. I mean, I even read that there are entire Milwaukee neighborhoods that are designed and inspired by Frank. So when you talk about a legacy living on those buildings, the, the inspiration for other architects that are coming up, they will know the name Frank Lloyd Wright and that'll continue to live on and they will live on in this pair done beautifully as only Ronnie can do so many times. So both colorways, they caught my eye. I didn't get a chance to get my hands on either of them, but you know what? It's great to see uh, him honored in this way within sneakers that cross over from one creative lane to the next. It's a beautiful thing to see. So number one for me for top five New Balances of 2023, Ronnie Feig and Frank Lloyd Wright. And there we have it. Listen, there are tons of great releases by New Balance and that's just on their own. Made in USA, Teddy, you are just, you're doing amazing things. I really do feel like Chris Jenner, like you're doing great, sweetie. You're doing amazing things. Love what I see coming out of New Balance right now. And that's just with their general releases, not even talking their collabs. They've done some amazing rollouts and I like them giving the actual creatives like the direction and the power and empowering them to let your vision come to life. We saw that with Joe Fresh Goods um, near the end of this year. Listen, Bronson just took everyone by storm. I know a lot of people are excited to see what more will come from that partnership with him and New Balance. And I'm certainly excited to see what do we get in the 990 series? What does, what does the 990 V7 look like? I didn't think I would have fallen in love with the V6 as much as I have. And I have one pair. I really need more. I would love more. So we'll see what happens. I think part of me is leaning towards um, or New Balance in 2024. Maybe I throw in uh, some other brands that I don't have in the collection right now. We shall see. Nonetheless, I'm sure there are a few favorites of yours, hopefully, from New Balance in 2023. So go ahead and drop a comment below. What would be your top three? I make it a little bit more challenging for you guys. What would be your top three for New Balance in 2023? Please drop them below. I really appreciate you tuning into any and all videos, especially these end of year lists. Really appreciate the feedback, the engagement, and stay tuned. I will do an Adidas list. So whoever guessed that you are spot on, I'll go ahead and give an Adidas list and then move into my top 10 and my category list. And, you know, um, we'll just try to keep it all together as we end out this year. All right. So with that being said, actor age, not your shoe size. Peace.